What's going on everybody? This is Tom with Game Nothing Much here and I'm back playing the uh, Bird Keeper Challenge. Now, first things first, be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the series. I would uh, appreciate that very much. Also, background noise. If you hear kids or dogs, that's just sort of life as a dad, so, uh, sorry. Also, I made a whoopsie last episode. I have Clint, this bee drill. And man, it's real cool, except he is a bug poison type. I had a stupid attack, and I was thinking Butterfree, because it is a flying bug. So, unfortunately, Clint needs to go to the box. So, Clint, it was nice swap training you for literally no reason. But I'm going to have to dump you, dude. So, deposit Clint. Goodbye, friendo. But now we need to replace him. Anyway, sorry, I uh, don't know where I was at. Oh, yeah. I had to, uh, gotta go catch a, a new buddy. Now, let's see who we can find. I'm thinking, maybe, sorry, I had a little bit more of an interruption, but that's okay. So, I'm thinking, we need to go get a Lediba. I was wanting some Gen 2, uh, Spark on my team, and I think Lediba will be a good fit, because it is actually flying type. It's a flying bug. I double-checked yesterday after I was done editing, and I was like, you know what? That needs to be the move. And uh, on my game, it is 4 in the morning, so I am able to catch one. So I'm not sure where to find one, but I'm going to go look for one, and I will see you guys when I'm done. Alright, we have got our Lediba. So I'm not even going to attack it because I don't want to kill it on accident. So I'm just going to uh, huck a Pokeball at it and hopefully it works. If it does, that will be great and we can start moving on with the playthrough. Cool, that happens too some, from time to time. I'm afraid to even tackle it once because Hazel's just such a beast, you know? Plus it's 11 levels higher. One, two, three... Oh, for goodness sakes. This Lediba is testing my patience. I only have two more Pokeballs. But come on, you stupid ladybug. Get in there. One, two, three. Hey, third time's a charm, you pain in the butt. So, what are we going to name Lediba, who is a boy? When the weather turns cold, lots of Lediba gather from everywhere to, cl uh, to cluster and keep each other warm. How about we name you Dale? You look like a Dale, Ladybug. Now we have Dale. Awesome. Would you put it? All right. So I am going to head on over to the uh, what's it called again? Not Dark Tunnel. It might be called called Dark Tunnel, but I always get it confused with Rock Tunnel from Generation One because it's actually super dark. But it's not the same thing. So I'm going to scurry on over there and I will catch you guys when I get there. Alright, we are basically here. I don't know why I cut that out. That was like 14 seconds of walking. Oh well. Oh, what a hoot. All right. Oh, I do need to go ahead and put Dale up front to start swap training because we all know how fun that is. Uh, but yes, yeah, okay, for real this time, I'm going to... Uh, Fight my way down to uh, Dark Cave, Dark Tunnel, whatever it's called. And uh, you guys get to watch a super sweet montage. Go!
Alrighty, so we're done with that little training spurt. Whoopsies. Forgot about this guy. Uh, yes, I did beat Faulkner, you kind sir. Uh, but anyway, I guess I'll take a few seconds here and lay out what we're doing next. Ooh, it's a bird keeper. Bird keeper, you gotta go down, my dude. Yeah, as you can see, Dale has leveled up very well, all the way up to 9. He learned Supersonic, which a lot of people don't like moves like Supersonic. They think they're uh, kind of a waste, but I personally really enjoy those types of moves. Mainly because I've gotten like my butt handed to me so many times from the computer because of Supersonic and, uh, you know, Flash and stuff like that, so I like to have them on my team as well, whenever it's possible, but I'm not sure. I know Knockdown can learn Flash, but, uh, I'm not, whoopsies, I'm talking and not paying attention. But there we go, Supersonic. Hit yourself, nerd. Wow, it did. So, you know, Supersonic, you know what, I'm gonna try it. Can I, you think Dale can get him? Is this Pidgey no Gust yet? Because if so, that's a game changer. That's something else I was pondering while I was uh, training. I'm not sure when this bug type is really going to come in big handy. Because I know, obviously, against psychic types. So, Will in, in the Elite Four. But also, Will has a lot of ice types. He's got the... Um, Oh gosh, I can't think of the name of the stupid bird. Stupid bird. What am I talking about? I'm looking at the bird. Uh, Jinx is one, and I think... You know what, he might just have Jinx as the psychic type. I'm not sure. But, uh, he does have a lot of... I'm sorry, as the ice type. But, uh, I think he does have quite a few checks. Oh yeah, Natsu. Would be, um... Or, I'm sorry, Zatu. He's got two of those, I think? If I remember correctly. So they will, uh... Oh, and a Murkrow, I think. No, not a Murkrow, that'd be a dark type. Either way, uh, I'm not sure when this is going to come in handy, but I do like the idea of having a Ladybutt and then a Ledian. But now let's check. Oh, it's called Union Cave. What am I thinking of? I could just be crazy, but... I don't know. I'm also going to battle my way through here. As you can see, wild ones included. Uh, once we get out of here and get to, is it Azalea Town we're heading to? I will wrap up the episode, so let's uh, plow our way through here. So what happened there? Let's dissect that battle a little bit. A, I underestimated that on X. <laughs> uh, I kind of thought this guy was a, um, oh, the guy who has fire types, but uh, he is not. This is an Onyx, on par with the best that on uh, Onyx that Brock would have to offer. Um, so what I did there, I started off with Lediba, Dale, and uh, yeah. I think I'm going to do the same thing here, except I'm just going to ride out with Lediba just long enough to get it confused and then swap to Pidgey because he really pulled through with some misses there late. Yeah, darn it. Oh boy, this isn't good. There we go, finally. So now I'm going to swap out, go to Hazel, see what she can do here. We'll
So, as you saw there, I did skip a battle or two. That is because I am running very low on time right now. So I need to hurry up and get to the... Uh, that's Pokemon. I need to get to the Poke Center and uh, end this episode. So, hey, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys stick around for more. There will, will be more uh, Pokemon, more background noise from kids, more everything. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>